Now to our GMA cover story, that feud that's brewing between the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts. The Girl Scouts president writing a letter accusing the Boy Scouts of covertly trying to recruit girls to boost their declining membership. And ABC's Adrian Bankert is back with more on that story. Good morning, Adrian. Yes, Amy, a lot of people talking about this one. Good morning to you all. Both the Boy and Girl Scouts have lost about a third of their membership since the early 2000s. And now with some increased pressure for inclusivity, there's a debate over how these century-old organizations might need to change. This morning, a battle of the sexes and the scouts, and whether the Boy Scouts of America should be recruiting girls. Do you think that it should be co-ed? Mm, not exactly. So I feel like girls just sometimes want to be like only girls instead of together. The 107 year old organization tells ABC News based on numerous requests from families. We've been exploring the benefits of bringing scouting to every member of the family, boys and girls. Partly, it says, to accommodate busy schedules. We talked to a lot of families who would love to drop their kids off at one activity and not have to shoot one here, one there. The recruiting efforts outraging the Girl Scouts USA. Its president writing in a letter to Boy Scouts officials. It is unsettling that BSA would seek to upend a paradigm that has served both boys and girls so well through the years by moving forward with a plan that would result in fundamentally undercutting Girl Scouts. I think it's fine. I mean, like, you should probably change the name. 16-year-old Sydney Ireland hopes they change soon. She's been fighting for years to be an official Boy Scout as an honorary member of her brother's troop. Over 3 million people have watched her passionate appeal on Facebook. I think that girl should have the opportunity to join either program. Meanwhile, parents have a lot to think about. There's a sense of comfort if you send your kid off to camp and it's all boys or girls. You don't have to worry about a lot of other factors that come into play when you're dealing with preteens. A lot of other factors indeed. The Boy Scouts told us no decisions have been made to become co-ed. They're still looking into it. And both they and the Girl Scouts stand by the benefit of single gender youth programs. Amy. Yeah, let's talk about that, Adrian. Thank you. And we have here now with us the author of the upcoming book, Enough As She Is, and an educator at the Hewitt School, an all-girls school here in New York City. So, you know, there are people who think, why not just have Scouts of America? Why do we have to delineate boys and girls? Where do you stand on the importance of having some sort of single sex organization. Yeah, I think as an educator, we see all the time the importance of girls being with girls, and I think my colleagues in boys' schools would say the same. It's not so much that girls and boys are different, but they get these messages from society about how to act. And when girls are around boys and vice versa, those messages get louder, and they're often really toxic messages that prevent kids from being themselves. And what about boys, uh, the benefits of them just being boys and not having girls in the group? Yeah, I mean, I think what happens is boys are under this pressure from society to be tough, to repress their feelings, and when girls show up, they want to perform that a bit more. Girls get that message, don't rock the boat, don't speak up. And I think when you talk to girls, they'll say, I might not speak up when a boy is around or a boy might speak over me. So we need to preserve those spaces for kids that are quiet away from those messages. There are some who say women have been fighting for generations to be let into groups that have been exclusively for men or for boys. And there are some girls who want to break that gender barrier by being a part of the Boy Scouts in this case. So is there an argument? on that level that Boy Scouts could or should be co-ed? Honestly, if girls want to be part of Boy Scouts, I think they should be given that option. I don't think this story is about that. I don't think girls are saying, I want to be like the boys or even with the boys. I think they might be saying, I want some of the programs that boys get. <laughs> and I think Boy Scouts might be wanting to um, think about the programs they're giving to all of their boys. I mean, I think ultimately this is about, are the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts speaking to every kid? Right, and, and, and it is also fair to note that we're not seeing boys try to get into the Girl Scouts because they're, that girls are okay to be tomboys, That's but it's right. not reverse. That's right. And we don't give boys permission to want to do stereotypically girl things. And I guarantee you there are boys in this country who would love to do Girl Scout activities. So parents and educators need to be on the lookout for those boys as well. Rachel Simmons, thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.